It's Learn TV! Hello mga katropa! Ayos ba tayo dyan? Ako, ayos lang ako dito sa San Diego. Uh, kung bago pa lang kayo dito sa aking channel, ako po si Remyo Algoso Jr. Pero you can just call me Camio. <laughs> uh, maganda-ganda tong ating topic ngayong... Uh, ngayong video na to uh, matagal-tagal ko rin na binuro sa utak ko itong concept na ito na ipepresent ko sa inyo ngayon pero kung uh, hindi pa kayo nakakapag-subscribe ay mag-subscribe na po kayo and also like the channel okay ang ating topic ay bakit mali ang 365 days sa isang taon. At i-explain ko sa inyo kung bakit. Uh, ngayon, no, para maintindihan ninyo mabuti kung ano yung uh, uh, gusto kong i-explain, kailangan maintindihan muna ninyo kung uh, saan ako nang gagaling. Okay. So, nag-umpisa itong research na to uh, nang uh, uh, ma-realize ko na ang kalendaryong ginagamit sa Biblia ay iba sa kalendaryo na ginagamit natin ngayon. At ang pruweba, pinaka-pruweba, ay yung mga salitang tulad ng jubilees na halos walang nakakaintindi sa atin. Uh, pero nung uh, ni-research ko, naintindihan ko na ang ibig palang sabihin ng jubilee ay 49 years something that, uh, you know, a concept that is not in our present-day Gregorian calendar. As a matter of fact, if you ask some of these uh, Catholics what a Jubilee is, they won't know what it is. So, uh, we're gonna go over to the computer and I'm gonna show you what I found out about the biblical calendar. Yung tinatawag ko na Enoch calendar. Tara. Okay. Uh, what you are looking at here is the entirety of the uh, biblical calendar. The one that I called Enoch calendar. Or others, they call it Yas calendar. Or Yahuwah's calendar. Please like and subscribe. So there are a number of things that I wanted to point out here. Uh, first off, this biblical calendar does not change its structure. Ibig sabihin, you know, it's always like this. Okay? Uh, it always starts on the fourth day of the first week right here. Okay? And always ends on the third day of the last week of the last month. So, uh, you can see that uh, this 364-day calendar is uh, quite symmetric. Okay? There are three months in each quarter and there are four quarters in each year. And uh, the months of each quarter has a uh, a pattern, so to speak. Uh, ang uh, mga buwan ay palaging 30, 30, 31. Ibig sabihin, 30 days, and then 30 days, and then 31 days. Uh, for example, no, itong first quarter ng taon na to, no, the first uh, month, is 30 uh, days, the second month is 30 days, and then the third month is 31 days. Okay? And then, that pattern continues on to the second quarter. Okay? The second In the second quarter, uh, the first month of the second quarter, which is the fourth month, is 30 days, and then followed by another 30 days, and then 
31 days. So, uh, there are four quarters. Each quarter has three months and uh, the pattern for the days is 30, 30, 31. Ibig sabihin, 30 days for the first month, 30 days for the second month, and 31 days for the third month in each quarter. And uh, overall, there are 364 days in this calendar. So, that's the... Uh, Uh, the difference between this calendar and uh, the present day calendar which has 365 days. Now, you will probably say, so which one is correct? Uh, because we all know already that there are 365 days, right? But I will show you that this calendar also has 365 days. It's just that On the last month, right here, that last day is not counted. That is day zero, as I would put it, because that is the day of the observance of the sun. The sign that the sun uh, gives every year happens on that day. And that day is not in this calendar. It is outside of the calendar. Okay, so I will show you how that works. Okay, so nandito po tayo sa aking uh, Stellarium software. Ito po yung ginagamit ko sa aking mga research. And uh, sinetap ko po ito para uh, makita natin ang sunrise on March 18, 2024. Now, on the... Uh, right side of due east is the third gate or third portal and the left side of due east right here is the fourth portal now let's go to the next day this is march 19 2024 and right here is due east or 90 degrees Azimuth. And as you can see, the sun, as it rises, is uh, touching the 90 degree or due east uh, azimuth. This event, ladies and gents, is what is known as the spring equinox. March 19 is always a spring equinox. Not unless it is a late spring equinox. This is also what I term uh, zero day or day zero. Now let's go to the following day, March 20, 2024. This is March 20, 2024. And uh, as you can see here, Uh, due east or 90 degrees azimuth is already on the right side of the sun. Okay, or should I say the uh, uh, sun is on the left side of due east, meaning it's on the fourth portal. This is the all-important day, ladies and gents. This is the first day of of the first uh, uh, the first uh, month of the year in the biblical calendar day one of the of the year now according to the book of Enoch the year starts when the sun is in the fourth portal or fourth gate and as you can see On March 19, uh, the sun was still crossing the due east. It hasn't totally uh, crossed over into the fourth gate. It is halfway between the third portal and the fourth portal. It is not counted as a day in the biblical calendar. 
So uh, what I'm really trying to point out mga katropa is that even though the uh, biblical calendar only has 364 days, it doesn't mean that the 365th day, what I would call day zero, doesn't exist. It's there. It's just not being counted. So, uh, ngayon naman na na-explain ko na sa inyo kung uh, ano yung pinaghuhugutan ko. So, bakit nga ba mali ang 365 day uh, calendar? So, para malaman natin kung papaano, uh, kung bakit mali, no? we don't have to go any further than... Uh, looking at our present calendar right now okay right now we are using what is known as the christian calendar or gregorian calendar uh, years before you know a few hundred years ago it was known as the julian calendar uh, but uh, around the uh, i think it was the 17th century the uh, Catholic uh, priesthood decided that they were gonna uh, finally correct uh, the calendar and it took them uh, a number of uh, hundreds of years <laughs> actually to finally get to uh, our present day calendar right now which is accurate now uh, yung topic ay bakit mali ang and subscribe uh, 365 days okay so ang gamitin nating example ito mismo ng Gregorian calendar natin no okay and uh, the one that uh, i would place importance to okay is the uh, date that i use as the start of the Enoch calendar or the first day of the first month of the uh, biblical calendar okay and it is march 20 right here okay according to the uh, calendar march 2023 uh, march 20 is a it's a monday okay so now uh, checkin natin yung susunod na taon 2024 <clears throat> All right, so uh, back to the topic. Um, this time, this is March 2024, okay, which is next year. I wanted to know what day is March 20, okay? And I'm looking at it right now, and it says here now that March 20 is a Wednesday. Okay, it's a Wednesday. Okay, let's go to the next uh, year still, 2025. March, to, here you go, 2025. And if we look in here, March 20 is now a Thursday. So, nakikita nyo ba, mga katropa, ang inconsistency? Yung mga araw at saka yung mga pecha ay nagbabago. Para bang, it's as if it's moving uh, in some direction. I, it looks like it's moving forward. Okay? So, um, in short, what I'm trying to say is because the days and the dates are not uh, always aligning okay that makes this uh, calendar in error kasi hindi niya nagbabago kasi yung mga araw at yung mga pecha sa biblical calendar kasi ang mga araw at ang mga pecha ay palaging pareho palaging ganoon the first uh First day of the month, of the first month, the first day of the first month is always the fourth day 
of the first week. Laging ganon. Okay? So that Passover starts on the 14th of the first month and it's always on the, uh, I believe, the third uh, day or the fourth, uh, is it the fourth? The third day of the uh, uh, of the week. Ibig sabihin, hindi nagbabago. Okay? Ang Gregorian calendar, nagbabago ang uh, biblical calendar or ino calendar hindi nagbabago ang mga petsa okay although hindi niya kinakount yung yung spring equinox kasi nga yung spring equinox eh yung araw patawid patawid pa lang hindi pa dumarating doon sa fourth gate the next day pa yung fourth gate see that's why i'm saying that 365 days is wrong it's wrong because well first of all 365 that's an odd number you cannot uh, divide it into four because we have four seasons right unlike 364 try dividing that and you got something right so that's my point mga katropa that is why mali ang 365 days huh? Okay, okay. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!